Hey friends, today we're going to talk about texture. Do you know what texture means? I'll give you a hint. Texture is the way something feels or the way it looks like it might feel. Can you think of some examples of different textures? Hmm, maybe feel your hair? That should be a soft texture. Your skin is a soft texture. The table is kind of a hard, smooth texture. The carpet maybe could be a little rough or soft. The wall has a texture. Anything, everything has a texture. So you can see texture with your eyes and you can feel it with your hands. Now, when you are creating texture, there's a fun way to do it. So I want you to gather some supplies that have interesting textures and meet me back here in one minute. All right, hopefully you've gathered a few supplies of different textures. And here's what I had in the art So room. I started with some smooth textures and I have a shell, a fake leaf, some Velcro. They all feel differently. And we're gonna make that ha show that texture on our paper here. In order to do that, you need some crayons that are peeled. So I had these just broken crayons that were already peeled. It's a lot easier to do your texture that, this way rather than having a crayon um, with the paper still on. So peeled crayons work well for this. If you don't have it, that's okay. Just use regular crayons. So the first thing you're gonna do is take one of your texture pieces. I think I'll start with this piece of felt. You can see how it feels. It's very soft. It's like material. It's flexible. It bends. So this is definitely a soft texture and I wanna see what that looks like underneath my paper. So I put it under my paper, grab a color, and there you go. You can see it's definitely a soft texture that I've created. Let me zoom in for you. There you go, it's very soft. So let's try something else. Let's try hard texture, maybe the shell. You can see on the shell that there's ridges it's bumpy, it's hard, rigid, let's see. So I'll use another color, put it under my paper. Might be kind of tricky because of the shape, but we'll make it work, no problem. Oh yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so that's the shell, love it. Now I'll try this leaf, this is just a fake leaf, but you can see that the veins in the leaf are visible and they're three-dimensional. So I'll put it under my paper, grab another color, and here we go. There. Awesome. Another cool texture, I like it. The paper clip, that'll give us a very hard texture and it's kind of sharp on the edges. So we can slide those underneath, grab another color and go for it. Oh, awesome. They clearly moved around a little bit, but you can see it gives it a perfect shape. That's really neat. Now the feathers. I don't know how well this will work, but it's worth a try, but I just wanted you to see how soft these are. I wish you could feel it, <laughs> but a feather. Let's try it. Maybe I'll use whatever color this is, purple. Oh, <laughs> look at you can only really see the, the middle part of the feather. You can kind of see the edges. That one kind of worked, not as well as I hoped, but that's okay. This shape here, this is just a hard plastic piece, so we can try that one. It's okay if your textures overlap. I'll try this, that one with yellow. It's pretty cool because you can really see the shape. Just be careful because I did put a rip in my paper. Now this one is Velcro. This has two sides of texture. I'm gonna go with the rough side. You can see, pretty scratchy. All right, let's put it underneath and try it. Oh, cool. 
I like that one. Texture. Oh, so in the art room, guys, I have these things called texture plates. And they have, you can see really well in the light, they each have a different texture. So this one is very bumpy. And then this one is like a chevron, or chevron shape. And then this one kind of looks like wood. So using texture adds a great bit of variety to your work of art. So I will do a little bit of room over here. So I'm gonna put one of these underneath and I'm gonna try it out right here. Oh, that's so cool. Yep, so this is the chevron one, you can kind of tell. Um, I'll try the wood one next. We'll try that over here. I'll use orange. Ooh, you can kind of tell. Can you guys see it? Pretty cool. And this bumpy one. I haven't tried the bumpy one yet. Um, I'll put it on the corner right there. Try it with green. Awesome. So texture is the way something feels or it looks like it feels. Hopefully you have found one for today's project, which is a dinosaur. We're gonna be drawing this long neck dinosaur using texture. So the background, I didn't necessarily use a texture, but on the one I show you, I will. But I definitely focused on texture in my dinosaur's body. So I wanted something kind of rough and bumpy but you get to pick. And then I had a texture on the bottom as well, just to make it look kind of uh, gravelly, like rocks. So for this project, you need crayons, markers, paper, and some texture tools. So hopefully you found something that you like. Let's get started. All right, so the first thing we'll do is at, start with the dinosaur's head, work our way down the neck, and then the body and tail. So notice where his head is compared to the top of the page and the corner of the page. So it's pretty close. So looking at your paper, I want you to put your finger top middle, slide down a smidge and over right about here. And we will add the top of our dinosaur's head like this. It is an arch shape. All right. Now we're going to add the dinosaur's nose mouth area right here. So that line's going to come down and around like this. So we're going to come down and around. And right here, here's the, the mouth or the smile. And here's his like chin. We'll call that the chin. Now we can add a quick eye and an eyebrow, assuming dinosaurs have eyebrows. <laughs> I don't know, mine does. All right, now we're gonna come down for the neck. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring that back, actually need it there. And this line is going to be slightly curved. Do you see how this one is curved down kind of far? We won't go all the way, I'll stop right about there. So that's gonna curve down right here and then just make this line continue. So I, this one I curved up a little because I'm gonna draw the dinosaurs back. Hopefully you guys are doing good so far. Remember, you can pause the video as often as you need to. So now I'm going to take the dinosaurs back all the way up and back down. And then I'll continue this line to about here. So I'm gonna go up and back down. And then this line is gonna come down a little further and just go in slightly. Cause I will start the legs. Now we'll draw one leg coming down. It's kind of diagonal. Here's the foot and then back up. We're gonna go back. Now this back leg has a little more curve right here. So we're gonna draw a curve up here and then down. 
foot and then back up. So now the tail, see where I stopped drawing? It is lined up with the belly. So I'll jump over and I'll draw the tail. I had to make mine kind of short because I didn't, I ran out of room. I didn't have enough room, but that's okay. It looks just like it's curved, that's all. Awesome. So I know dinosaurs have more, this dinosaur has more than two legs. So we need to draw the other side of the legs peeking around these two. So this one, see here, it looks like it's on the other side. So it's a little shorter. Same with this one. So here we're gonna draw out like this. This one, same idea. Also a little shorter. So it looks like they're taking a step. If you want, you can add these kind of like toes. I like that. Perfect. Cool. So dinosaur's body is done. Now we'll add the background. My dinosaur lives somewhere like where there's palm trees. I guess the desert. My dinosaur lives in the desert, but this dinosaur has some palm trees in the distance. So think of like deserty California or wherever you want. It's Hawaii, it's up to you. So I'm gonna actually start by giving my dinosaur a horizon line. So I know how much land and sky I have to work with. So now my dinosaur is clearly walking on land. So I, now I'm gonna add some mountains. I think this time I'll add a volcano. So here, I'm just gonna start with a very low mountain like this, jump over the neck. Here's the opening. And then back down on the other side. So I will add a palm tree to the side, or you can maybe even put them in the distance further away. Maybe we'll try that. I think I will. So this one will be smaller because it's further away. So see how I have these overlapping lines? Just erase them. There we go. And then to create the palm tree, we're just going to use a very simple um, star shape or leaf shape. Erase anything overlapping. You can add some coconuts and then a little bit of texture inside the palm tree. Perfect. I will add a little bit of lava coming down my mountain. So I'll start maybe on one side. I'm just gonna use kind of a made up wiggly line like this. Maybe some skinny lines curling up. Perfect. All right, so the next step will be to start coloring. I traced mine with marker first. Uh, just makes your crayons stand out a little more, totally optional, but get your colors and let's get ready to start. For my sky texture, I want to have something smooth. So I think I'll go with this felt. You don't have to add a texture to it, literally everything, but it helps add a little something extra. First texture is done, awesome. This texture, I used the wall. Believe it or not, I laid my paper up against the wall, laid my crayon on the side and colored it and it gave it a perfect bumpy texture. So keep that in mind. I want a purple mountain. Cause you know what? It's 
prehistoric times, friends. It could be anything you want. Hooray for the ground. I want something kind of rocky. So what I'll do, I'll probably use the wall because I like that texture. And for color, I'm gonna go with yellow. So. Hopefully you guys had fun exploring te different textures with me and found a new way to add a little extra to your drawings. I'll see you next week for another art video. Bye guys!